on the last episode of Amnesia, The Dark Descent. Oh no, you let the bacon spoil! Oh, that's awful, why? I was saving that bacon. Oh, oh, Jeebus, run! Run away! Running, 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 running! It's just me, bacon. Just me, dead pigs. Hey everybody, Kitaro here. Welcome back to Amnesia, The Dark Descent. We're heading to the machine room. We got a key, we got some broad things. So, machine room it is. Oh, it's... I I hate that I have to like do this every single time. I wish I could just... Go! Oh, I have the key. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet had been overturned and lay collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. All right. Whoa, what's all that noise about? This is definitely a machine room. So, swell. Well, let's go in here first. There seems to be a light, so we'll just let the light do its thing. Oh, a note. I love notes. They give me stuff July, to read. 1839. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. Ooh. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. Ooh. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. Okay, cool beans. When I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. You should, Daniel. It's all your fault. Everything is your fault. Alright, what is this? Alright, levers. Cool. What are the levers for? What is this for? Can I, can I turn it? Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I? I guess not. Uh, tinderbox. Tinderbox. Give it. Give me the tinderbox. I'm gonna like this one. And that one. There. Yeah, we have plenty of light in here. It looks like we'll be doing things in here, so it's probably a good idea to... What are those noises? Probably a good idea to have some light. Alright, let's go back out here. Anything over here? I don't see anything. Now hold on. Find a way to... Okay. I'm trying to make sure I didn't have any extra things I was supposed to be doing that I had missed. I am really appreciative of all the lights that are already lit for me. No monster? No monster. Good. Now I'm gonna start shutting doors behind me. Just in case. You know, until the monster pops out in the room I'm in and then I, I end up fumbling over the door and can't get out. Okay, so what is this? There's a, there's a gear here. It's more steampunky stuff, right? <laughs> what is this? Flow. Wait, this is where the levers go, right? Four phase amplitude rod and trinity steam rod. Oh, oh, okay. I get it. Trinity goes into the, the three-sided one. Four phase goes into the square, and we're missing one. Okay, uh, what's this say? There are only two spare rods left in the storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged, and keep the others in the inner study room. Ah! I did have to go to the study. Dang it! Well, let's read the notes, and we'll head back that way. 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Okay. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. 
from a baron in Prussia. Oh. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. Well. What am I to make of this? <laughs> protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. Okay. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate. Dr. Tate! And hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. All right. Daniel, you're a puss. Whoa. What was that? Something's whispering at me. Is that glowing? It's glowing a little. Is that something I'm gonna need later? I will keep that in mind. But first, back to the study. Sorry, guys. To the study. <sighs> Sir William Smith had been marked. There was no way for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a horrible, sh uh, such a terrible shadow. Sorry. Terrible, horrible, whatever. It's all good. <laughs> all right. So let's go to the study. Ugh. Come on. Open the door! Come on. Open the door. Oh my gosh. Why was that so difficult? Alright, let's go up the stairs. And into the study. Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his damned curiosity. Ooh. 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 Uh, you know what? It's a lot of running around back and forth trying to find things. Piecing the puzzles together. But it's not boring at all. Because I know there's something on my butt about to eat me. Or something of the sort. Where? This is the study, huh? Alright. Well, what's in here? We got a tinderbox. We got... All sort of, what's that? It's a weird buzzing noise in my ear or something. We got a chest with another tinder box. Give me the tinder box. Give it to me. I, I can't I can't get it. Give me the tinder box. I want it. There we go. I think that chair is something. Stupid chair. Ugh. Yeah. Breaking stuff. Alright, so I don't see anything. I left my bunny behind! Oh no! My bunny! Is, is that glowing? Come here, chair. I need you. Yeah! Get out of here! What is this? Is this something I need? There's something in here? There is nothing in here! Fine, let's go across the hall. And let's shut the door behind us. Because you never know what's gonna fuck up our day. Alright. Some kind of weird buzzing noise in here. I don't know what it is. It's bees! Ah, the bees is a note! Letter regarding the discovery of Nord. To my most trusted student and friend, Johann Weyer. 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 It's Weyer. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Heliodromus described, in, described it in the Hortus Conclusus. It was, it was as it was told about. An underground Mithra <laughs> Mithraic, I can't read today, Mithraic temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed while rich. 
Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibly it was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Allstadt, investigating one of the antiquated antiquated trails. When I finally found the cavern, I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. Oh, as a debugger birder. This is a lot of stuff to read. Made my way to near Suddenly a blue shimmery life and engul light engulfed me and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned black with leaves and cinder. Oh my goodness, certainly sounds strange, but blah 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 blah. The last time we I'm I, I don't want to read all that. <laughs> I get it. It's a blue orb. I hear an owl. Owl, shut up, you scared me. You sh I'm stuck on something. Anything over here? Why is that bookcase like that? That's weird. Okay. Let's open this door back up. Go on down this way. Hopefully nothing's gonna try and kill us. That looks like a trap. There is oil sitting right in the middle of the floor. Well, I'm gonna fall for it. I want the oil. What? I know, I want the oil. I don't care about your stupid window. Held together only by a weak wooden frame. Ooh. I need a chair! I need a chair! Chair. Chair! Have I ever told you how much I love you? How much I miss you? Come on, chair. We've got work to do. We have a mission. Farewell, chair. <coughs> Sweet. Can't, now what? Oh, there's a titter box out here. I want it. Gives it to me. Gives it to me. Gives it to me! How much closer do I have to get to this stupid thing? Give me the tinder box. Give it. Give it. Ugh. Come on, I want it, I want it, I want it! Ugh. Nope, I saw that, there we go, okay. Alright, so we're out here. We're jumping, we're jumping. Ooh! Oopsie! <laughs> Sorry, Daniel. Oh, that was... Do I have to pick up the tinderbox again? Good, I don't want to. Ooh! Let's, let's not fall. I didn't think I could actually fall. Alright, we gotta be careful with our jumping. Ooh. Oh, were the trees always covered in boogers? Ooh, that's not good. Uh, oh! Daniel! Learn how to jump, bro! Jeez! All right, I'm gonna try this again. Daniel, I am treading as carefully as I can. You, your scrawny little girl legs, need to get with the program. <gasps> Daniel! Daniel's driving me nuts right now. What the heck? What happened to my leg? My leg is bleeding. Ah! Does this game, like, affect the real world? <laughs> Daniel felt- Look, they started me out of the window this time. Oh, they started me at this window! Oh, well, I guess I'll go inside. Daniel falling and breaking his legs must be affecting me in the real world, because my leg is bleeding for some reason. And I don't know why. What is this? Need a bookshelf with no books on it. Why has it got no books on it? Is it a secret passage bookshelf? Is there something behind it? Emergency decelerator? What? No, there's nothing behind it. Come on. There's a thingy over here. I has to touch it, I guess. More steampunk stuff. 
When will it be my turn? Have I not shown her straight? My patience spans centuries. From where I came, mankind has not even wasted a breath. Yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. Who? Why? What? How? Chair. Chair, come with me. It's dark. I need your protection. Chair? Yeah! Yeah, there we go. We're shutting the door there. Come on. Light it. There we go. Alright. Lots of nifty tools. More gears. Ooh! Stuff! I'll read the note first. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure you use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. I guess that's what we're doing in the machine room. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meter should read up 8 and down 8. Okay, okay. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. Trinity steam set functions for phase amplitude complete steam flow cycle. Flow cycle is the circle one. Okay. Um, note that the machine will not check proper configuration till all rods are inserted. Okay. Cool. Got it. Alright. So, we're gonna go out this door, right? Oh, I'm out again? Always out of oil. I'm tired of it. I don't want to be out of oil. It's lame. Ooh, a chiest. That's... Oh, I can't open this one. Cool. Come on. There we go. Alright. Oh. Okay, so we're not going that way, I guess. Out the window again. Daniel. You better be able to make it back this time, bro. Be careful. Don't fall. Oh. Oh, goodness. Run. All right, Daniel, get it right this time. Why is this so difficult? Are those dogs? What the heck is that noise? All right. Let's... Stupid chair. Alright, we didn't go this way. Oh. Oh, goodness. Bunny! You're here, Bunny Bun! Bunny Rabbit, you're here. Bunny Rabbit, I'm gonna take you back. Oh, let's see what you have to offer. Oh, that's awful! Why? Ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw. But I can sense it. It's definitely there. I have no... I, this Alexander guy is fucked up in the head. Oh, naked guy statues. My favorite. Alright, bunny. You, you chill out there while I check the drawers. Ooh, yay. We like that. Comes in handy. Alright, anything over here? <gasps> oh god! Oh, I didn't. What the fuck? What the fuck? Is that Alexander? What the fuck? The fuck? I. I don't even want to know. I just, I just don't even. All right, bunny rabbit, come on, we're getting out of here. I mean, unless there's anything else we need. I don't see anything. Creepy ass pictures and whatnot. All right, bunny bun, let's go. All right, stay here, bunny. Got to open the door. Oh, bunny, bunny, come with, 
Come with the door is open. Oh no! I shut the door. Buddy, you're making things difficult. All right, come on. I'm. S Don't worry. There's not really any real doggies. I'm just going psycho bonkers. All right, let's keep going, Bun Bun. Oh, well, nowhere to go. Let's head back. La, 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 la. Bun Bun, what am I going to call you? You're going to be Archibald. That's your name from now on. Archibald, come on, let's go. Come on, Archibald. Uh, no, Archibald, come on through the door with me. The strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only one which offered some comfort. My leg's still bleeding? I think so. I think my leg is still bleeding. I think it's still broken. What? What? What's happening? What happened? Archibald! No! Oh, I miss him. I miss him already. Oh. 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 Oh, what happened? What happened to the fountain? That's awful. Oh, oh it's got a uh, An old friend back in Algiers gave me a map. Why isn't he with us? Didn't he want to come? Yeah, right. He wanted to, Daniel. But things don't always turn out the way we plan. Oh, really? Come on. Let's open the door. Step around the menstrual shit and go to the machine room, put our rod in. That's what she said. Well, not she, I guess. Alright, I already read that one. That's no fun. Alright. I miss my Archibald. I miss him already. Alright, so let's go downstairs. I'm gonna stick the rods. In the holes. Stick my rod in your hole! Urgh! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Alright, rod in the hole. Let's go. Okay. Uh, that one goes there. Swell. Awesome. Now what? Oh, yeah, we gotta go and pull those levers. So it's eight up and eight down. That shouldn't be too hard. I say that now, but just watch and see. Okay, shut the door. You never know what's gonna happen. Is that the only one in here? Oh, okay, so I gotta do eight up and eight down. So let me see. How are we gonna start? Okay, so I know. Let's just flip them all up for now. So we're at three. And that would be eight, but that'd be too easy. Let's go that one. And then is there a two? Here's a two. Uh, give it. That would be eight. And then we got... What is that one? I, I can't tell what that is. What is that? What's that top one there? Is that... I can't tell. Anyways. Uh. No, I want this one to go up. Hold on. Up. All right, and then we got. What is this? We got. Come on, come on, come on. Is that six? Seven. That's not right. Okay. Well, let me see here. This might take a while. I am really dumb. Let me flip them all up for now. And then we'll do what we gotta do. So we gotta... Okay, so we do a 5 and a 2 and a 1. That would work. A 5. We'll do the 1. And then let me see. Those are both 2, so... We're on eight right there. Hmm. I think that's eight. I can't tell what that one is. I think it's a five. I think. I can't tell. It's all messed up. So we'll try this one. 
Nope, that wasn't it. So we'll do up. I will do. Do they all have to be facing ways? Can there just be one in the middle? Do this one now. Nope, that didn't do it. Uh, this might take a while. I. I wish I could tell what that one was. I can't. It looks like a five. Right here it looks like a five. So we got three and three and two. That's eight. And then we got five and one and... <sighs> Alright. So let's try this. There we go. Got it. That took way too long. The flow is even and stable. Swell. Alright. Well, now what? I think there was another way to go down here. So let's go down here. See if there's any more goodies for us. See if there's anything else we've got to do. I wish Archibald was here. Alright. Heading on down. Heading on down. Alright. We got... Another big machine room with... Oh good, there is a light. Cool. Alright. Oh, hey, a lever. Cool. Let's pull it. The machinery needs more work before it will run. Well, what's wrong with it? What's the deal? Uh, light another one of these. What's this? What? what the what do I put in here? Babies? <laughs> Nothing okay. Well what's in here? What we got in here? We got coal. Sweet. We'll we'll do this. Oh, that's oil. I like oil. Alright, so we'll put this in here. Uh I'm gonna get a couple more. I'm gonna guess there's a magic number. Because one it's just not right. One's not enough. We got an entire room full of coal. There's no way they're just going to make us get one. I'm going to guess three. Sounds like there's an, uh, like a cow crashing an airplane outside. Oh, I got shut the door. I think. Alright. Burner is now full. Sweet. Now we're in business, right? Yeah. What does it need? Wait, hold on. That doesn't look right. Oh, there were those glowy cog wheels. The glowy steampunk wheels. Yeah, like this one. I knew they were glowing. Alright, let's put these on. Let's, let's not break anything in the process. Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright, let's go find some more. There was one in the hallway, and then there was one sitting on a table somewhere, I think. Yeah, I saw it. Oh, this one, yeah. Okay. So we'll grab this one, head on down, stick it on our machine... There we go. Alright, one more. One more, we're in business, and then we can go down the elevator. Good times. Good times. Alright. It's nice that everything's kind of lit up, and I don't have to, like... Aha! It's so cold. What's... What? What's cold? Who are you? This is a steam room. Why would it be cold? Who the heck? Who are you talking to? Who be talking to me? I'm Daniel, you're hearing the voices again. Alright. Aha! There, we got three of them. Pull this darn lever. And see magics! Alright, let's get the hey ho out of here. I am done with being in this basement, and oh my god! 
Oh gosh, we've got pustules everywhere. Oh no, I went around you! You lie. Oh god, we gotta get out of here. Go! Alright. Oh. Alright, back in the hallway. Okay. Sir William Smith had been marked. There was no... Okay, I, I read that once. Once already. Okay. Whew. Alright. We're going on the elevator. Oh god! What happened? Oh, Jesus. Daniel, get out of the red stuff! You turd! What do you guys have against me? Ah! Uh, Alright, we're in the elevator. We're in the elevator. Let's, let's pull the lever. And we're, we're off! Down we go! He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet had been overturned and I already read that! <gasps> What's happening? Down. Go downtown! No, I'm not. I need, I need elevator music. I need great, awesome elevator music. Oh, look at the sparks. Uh. Well, okay. Going down. Uh, going down. Uh, let's back away from the elevator there. Don't want that nasty freak by the foot on us. Uh. Uh, on the lever? Oh no! I'm sorry! I touched the lever! I'm sorry! Oh, what's happening? I'm sorry I touched the lever! This is why we can't have nice things. The morning sun flickered between the pine trees as the carriage approached the castle. A faint memory of reflections in the window pane repeated itself over and over. Ah. Uh, hmm. Daniel, you're not dead. This is fantastic. We like when you're not dead. Oh. Oh. Oh, I clipped my nuts when I fell. All right, well, we're here now, and the elevator is kaput. Uh, we're, yeah. Anyways. We're going to stop it here now. We've made it down an elevator, and I'm not sure what's ahead. But we're going to stop it here. And pick this up in the next episode. So I'm Kitaro. Come on back. We'll do this again. We'll have good times with Daniel. We'll kill some old dudes. It'll be great. Fun times. See you in the next one. Bye! Bunny Rabbit! Hi, Bunny Rabbit! Hey, your boy, boy, boy. Hey, your boy, boy, boy. Bunny Rabbit? You're gonna come with me. We're gonna stay there for now while I look for things. <laughs>